I have made myself a seasonal altar that I will be changing throughout my time just so that I can have a nice actual altar that changes throughout the year like I would like I want and I thought that this would be a lovely place to have it since there's plenty of space right there for everything. So I have my Amok altar now, which I've never had an altar specifically for a specific holiday other than a temporary one that I set up. But this is a permanent seasonal altar, so awesomeness. I have beautiful white altar cloth with leaf designs all through it. Totally fits with the uh, flowers to the snows description you get everywhere on the internet, although it's really our grass is going to start turning green again from yellow because we're in Arizona <laughs> which is awesome I have three candles these two on the sides being of goddess and god since I figured it I do not have multiple statues of them or like I would like to but you know people do candles for that I figured I'd do that for the first time since I have two sides. And I have a candle in the middle because it's kind of like rising sun. Everything's going to go up, up, and up because it's starting to get warmer. It's warmer. You know, spring is coming, winter is ending, yada, yada, yada. All that. It's beautiful. And in front of my big green camera, candle, not camera, I have the tarot card Temperance. She is representative of inner growth, and this specific card is of the Lady of the Lake, just for those who are wondering. It's part of the Fantastical Creatures tarot deck, and I think it's very pretty, so totally fits, because inner growth, every, the goddess and god are strengthening themselves. They both are young, growing up now coming out just like this just like the spring they're leaving their sleepy states and being all the creative innocence that they are <sighs> so on this side I have Uras which I set up on top of a stone because I can't see it from the floor if I don't have it on top of something Uras is the rune of strength and and on this side I have Burkana also set up on a stone because I can't see it from the floor which is growth so strength and growth are fitting to Imolk. And up here, I decided to do some artwork. I did, uh, well, I did the goddess, although I did her, she looks a lot like me in my opinion in that picture, so I don't, I don't know, I guess my subconscious was saying something. And <laughs> I did the god as I would see a small child god looking like. He has a cool trench coat, and I'm just like, yeah. So, Imolk and a pentacle, because pentacles represent the elements and all that, and you need a pentacle on every altar, in my opinion, because otherwise they're so empty. And that's my beautiful altar, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm happy to have it in here. It's very fitting, because that makes it so that I now have one, two, three, four, five altars. This is my fifth altar in my room. And they're all very small like this I love it it's adorable I'm happy so I figured I would share and it's right above my bed so cuteness there <laughs> either way blessed be